to is this worth the money is it good enough does it work well enough hello everyone and welcome to another episode of butler school now today uh, now i'll be honest with you i am disproportionately excited uh, it's not often that butlers get to do unboxings uh, and it's also not often that you get something that you've actually wanted for I don't know I've probably wanted one of these about 20 years and it is the Le Creuset screw pull lever model now okay you might think that's a bit sad that you've been in the last 20 years wanting a bottle opener but this is not just a bottle opener this is the Rolls Royce of bottle openers but this is the big question is the Rolls Royce of bottle openers actually better than the Ford Mondeo of bottle openers that I've been using for the last 10-15 years I've been using the same bottle opener it's this pro term one which has got the uh, built-in foil cutter I love it it works every time I've opened everything from Chateau you know Petrus right down to um, you know a bottle of blue nun um, can this be better and can any bottle opener be worth a hundred pounds that is another question. Is that even possible? Can I ever justify it and say, yes, that's what that's worth? So let's find out. So let's open it up first. First thing I guess is just to remove the plastic. I don't want to damage what's inside. Like I say, this is the uh, culmination of many years wanting one of these. And see, it has a uh, 10, 10 year guarantee there, which is pretty impressive. Although, having said that, my few pound one has already lasted a lot longer than 10 years so oh, I think that's the bottom okay that's the bottom of it right that's the top that's the top oh okay well here we're already seeing where our money is spent aren't we look at this it's got this cardboard sleeve it doesn't seem that exciting but then look at this oh my goodness it's like a lovely box of cigars or something like this this is not this is not your normal bottle owner. It's got a felt bottom so it doesn't scratch my um, drinks cabinet. Wow, look at that. Okay, so let's pop this open and see what's inside. Okay, so, wow. Here we go. So we've got our instructions, obviously. Okay. It's all sort of velvet lined. It has our foil cutter. Yes, that's good to see. Look, it's one with the spinny wheels, not the um, not the static blade. If you see one which has just got a static blade here, they're not good because they can rip the foil. So that's a good foil cutter. And here we go. Here is our scruple lever model. It comes so it comes ready assembled by the look of it. Or not. I assume that is supposed to go on there. Oh, there's a screw in the box. Maybe I should read these instructions because uh, it would appear there's a bit more to this than meets the eye. Because there's this, there's a screw. How does this all go together? I better check the instructions, I think. Okay, so it looks like. This comes out okay so there's so that's a good sign like if you're looking for any bottle opener, it doesn't actually matter which one see that really slender screw that 
is what you want. So it doesn't have to be a super expensive one, but that is basically what you want going through your cork. Okay, um, you see, look, see the way it's very, it, the worst ones, the ones that you'll see that have a thing going through the middle, they're rubbish, don't never use those, okay? So, that's a screw on it. don't know what that does actually. That's actually from the side there. From here, and then this just screws on the top. So that's pretty simple. And I know you can buy replacement screws for these if they get broken. Okay, well. I think it's fair to say that the proof of the pudding can only be in the eating. It's beautifully boxed, it's got velvet, it looks the part, it's got logos all over it, well not all over it, but it's got logos on it, it's very nicely finished and it's matte black. But let's see if actually, let's move the box out of the way, let's see how easy it is to open a bottle of wine, because at the end of the day, if it doesn't open a bottle of wine, it's literally pointless. So here we go. I mean, I'm not here to test the foil cutter, but it seems, yeah, well, did actually leave a tiny bit, but still very neat. No issue with the foil cutter. Now I'm going to stay sitting down because this should be totally totally effortless so we go all the way up onto the top of the bottle and then close these just there and then this should take basically no effort at all go down and back up and okay yes that was zero effort involved to be fair, I don't think that could have been any easier. And now let's just see how easy it is to get the cork out again. Something clicks in, that's good. You go up again, boom, and there's your cork. Okay, so yeah, to be honest, that couldn't be easy. I mean, but then here's the rub, of course, because it is always pretty easy to open a bottle of wine, well, unless there's something particularly wrong with the cork. It's always pretty easy, but let's just look at this cork though. You can't even see where the corkscrew has gone through it. Do you see? I mean, do you see that? Do you not see that? That looks like it's a brand new cork. It looks like nothing's gone through there. So what that means is you're very unlikely to break a cork because if it goes through that neatly, you're not likely to break one. So that's a really good point. So let's look at the difference between the two corkscrews for a second, okay? So this one's a good corkscrew. This isn't a bad corkscrew, it's a good one. But just look at the actual difference between those two corkscrews. Do you see that? See how slender and wide open that one is compared to that? That's how it goes through that cork so easily, and that's how it pulls it out. And then obviously you've got all this leverage. Now here's the thing. I'm not going to carry that around in my pocket, especially not in that great big wooden box. You know, I'm a, I'm a butler. I go to different places to open wine. So am I going to carry it around? No, of course not. But... Is it a beautiful thing to have in my house? Dare I say, will it impress people when they come round and I use it to open a bottle of wine? Yes, it probably will. Will it do the job very well? Definitely. That's literally as easy as opening a bottle of wine ever could be. So, is it worth the money? That's why I promised you, isn't it? That's why I said we would come to, is this worth the money is it good enough does it work well enough it 
It's a difficult one. But I'm going to let my heart rule my head here because as I pointed out earlier, I've always wanted one. So therefore, yes, it's absolutely worth the money. If you aren't that interested, then to be honest, you're never going to go far wrong with one of these. So not that conclusive, but let's just say, I don't think everyone has to have one of these, but I think if you do get one, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. A great gift as well. If you're looking for a present for someone, I think that's a pretty good gift. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm going to go and enjoy my bottle of wine and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.